Hey, hi, I'm Crazy Chris, and welcome to So Cool Science. Science you can do right at home. I'm just doing some moon gazing and going over today's science file. Why does the moon have phases? Try this. You will need a lamp and a tennis ball. Okay, first you gotta find yourself a dark room. Uh, kind of like this one. Then you're gonna want to find yourself a lamp. Uh, like, like this one over here. Whew! Ooh, that's bright, isn't it? Ha <laughs> ha! Then you're gonna get yourself the final product. You're gonna get yourself a tennis ball. Uh, kind of like this right here. Uh, you, you're definitely gonna need it. Place the lamp on one side of the room and take the tennis ball with you to the other side. Okay, you're gonna start by holding your tennis ball all the way out in front of the light bulb. Look, you can't really see the tennis ball. Okay, turn to your left and then look straight on at the ball. Now you can see light on the right side and not on the left. Keep turning to your left and look at the ball straight on. Now the full tennis ball is lit up. To your left, to your left, look at it straight on. Look, this time there's light on the left side and it's dark on the right side. Make your final turn back into the light. Can't see the ball again. So what does this all have to do with the moon's phases? Well, don't look at me. Take a closer look at this. When the moon is in between the earth and the sun, we see the dark half and we call this the new moon. When the moon is on the side of the earth, we see the right half lit up and it's called the first quarter. When the moon is behind the Earth, we see the full lit half, and we call this, as you know, the full moon. When the moon is on the other side of the Earth, we see the left side lit up, and it's called the last quarter. The moon then makes its way back to new moon and repeats the cycle every month. Because of the moon's phases, we know that the moon goes around the Earth counterclockwise. We also know that the moon's orbit is not flat like Earth's, but instead, tilted. So now you know why the moon has phases. You know, using a tennis ball so you know how the moon phases work is why science is so cool.